So following the video where I used the oil-based white Sharpie on the Ultra Boost, a lot of people were asking me, can we use the black oil-based Sharpie as well? And I wanted to go ahead and follow up and do a video on just that. What is going on guys, Hess here, collectivekicks.com and I wanted to bring you guys that video that you guys requested. Can you use this black oil-based Sharpie on blacking out the midsole of your uh, boost material? And I wanted to do a, a test of that uh, for you guys in this video. So hopefully you guys like the video. If you guys do, hit that thumbs up button and hopefully this has not been informative to you guys that are trying to figure out a solution on how to black out your boost. Now I did a video of this a year and a half ago at least and it was a little bit hit or miss because the results definitely vary. A lot of times when you end up blacking out the boost, there is a little bit of touch up work that you need to do because nothing really works 100% as far as I found on keeping that boost black. If you guys have had success in doing so, leave a comment in the comment section and let others know what you used and what seems to have worked for you. I will say that the results do vary depending on the model of the shoe as well as the uh, effort that you put into painting the shoe as well as if you wear the shoes really, really aggressively or not and scuff them up on curbs and stuff like that because some people might try the boost out and really say, yeah, it works fine, but they never really scuffed up the shoe or rubbed them up against anything um, really aggressively, so it wouldn't have shown any wear and tear on that shoe. So in this case, I wanted to do a couple different tests on this and let you guys know uh, the results from what I ended up using. So this was painted with the oil-based Sharpie that is in the black colorway. And I ended up getting this from a pack like this. And so it comes with the white one, the red and um, silver and kind of a bronze colored ones. So if you wanted to paint the boost a, a variety of colors, you could do so. But um, but I'll link this in the description if you guys are wanting to buy this pack. I just got it on Amazon for I think seven bucks or something like that. Uh, anyway, pretty cool that, that they had a variety pack and I got the black pen that I needed and it was more than enough to paint uh, the boost twice. So just so you know, I did a first test. I painted everything once and I didn't put any sort of finishers on it. And then I gave it a go and walked around quite a bit and wanted to see if it worked. So it did scuff off the first time around a little bit. So then I figured, you know what? I would go ahead and use the mink oil on one shoe and the rejuvenator waterproofing material on the other shoe. And both of them still had a little bit of scuffing as well. So the third time around, I went and I used the acrylic uh, finisher from Angelus. And that had the same results because this is the results that you see from that. So there's no real surefire way to black out as far as I can see how to black out the boost to make it so nothing ever scuffs. It just depends on how careful you are with your shoes, I think, ultimately. And I think it looks better. It's just whether or not you want to be able to have to maintain uh, painting the shoe. So honestly, I think this is actually a pretty good alternative to be able to use just the marker because if you do just use the marker, then you can just wear them and then use the the marker to touch up those little spots that you have on the shoe. So it's not a big deal in my opinion. Um, I don't really, I don't really mind the wear and tear on these ones uh, when you have the paint on them. So a lot of people wanted to follow up on the white boost and if it actually is holding up or not. And I would say yes, it holds up better than the black boost because if you paint the midsole with this, uh, they might have a little bit of bleed through, but it won't be as significant and it won't be as noticeable as obviously if you have a black pair that used to be white. So in that case, I think that this definitely holds up better and it can give you a refreshed look to uh, your pair of sneakers. A lot of people also said that it made the boost look fake, but I have to tell you that in that video, it's also the lighting uh, in the room. So because the lighting is in the room, it makes it look like it's a little bit more glossy than it actually is. But if you guys are interested in using the uh, the pens, again, check the link in the description, take you to Amazon, and you can uh, check those out. And if you're interested in trying the finisher, then you can buy this in the description as well. Go to the Angelus site and then check out the matte acrylic finisher. It does add a little bit of extra protection, which is also a plus. But ultimately, if you're pretty aggressive with these things, I was kicking shopping carts and shopping cart wheels were rolling over my feet and scuffing them on the curbs and all that stuff. So that is the results from that. I think ultimately that this is the best combo though, to use the pen with the acrylic finisher and then it will give you um, the added little extra protection uh, of the shoe. One last thing, if this video gets 2,500 likes, I will go ahead and paint the Ultra Boost multicolor black midsole, and I'll do a video on that if you guys are interested in that. Just leave a thumbs up on the video, and that's all it will take. So if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you want to be part of the notification squad, 
click that little bell next to the subscribe box and it will notify you when I post videos. If you guys want to see other videos on my channel, check the screen right now and you can click one of the playlists and uh, peep some of the other videos. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys for some more videos soon. Peace, guys.